this morning, Chris Christie is being sworn in for the second term as New Jersey governor. Events were supposed to cul culminate, culminate tonight with a party on Ellis Island. Christie and his team decided to cancel that event due to, of course, the inclement weather. NBC's Jim Gray has more details from Trenton. Hey there, we're beginning to see some flurries here as preparations for the inauguration of Governor Chris Christie continue here. He will take the oath of office for the second time, and that ceremony is going to proceed as planned. But a party afterwards this evening on Ellis Island has been canceled as a result of the severe weather that is expected in the area throughout the day. We expect to see significant snowfall, heavy winds, so taking the ferry out to Ellis Island uh, was going to be an issue, and the administration and Governor Christie have decided that that will not be the case, that they will not uh, have that party on Ellis Island. It may be postponed, it may be canceled altogether. What I can tell you is the food that's been catered for that event, it will be given to local food pantries, so that's some good news. It will go to a worthy cause. But the Ellis Island celebration uh, has been canceled or at least postponed for now. That's the latest from Trenton, New Jersey. I'm Jay Gray. Now back to you. All right, thank you, Jay. I think that's good old common sense. Now let's get back to our big story of the day. We're keeping a close eye on Washington, D.C., and the snow is coming down. The Beltway commute will be a difficult one this evening as we track Winter Storm Janice. So let's get the very latest on Winter Storm Janice. Nick is standing by in the Global Forecast Center with our friend Tom Nizzle. That's right. Tell it, and, guys. And, and we are continuing to see it wrap up here, or ramp up, I guess I, I should say. It's not going to be a It's going to be a while before it wraps up. It's only beginning. Right. And you, wrap up in a sense because it's actually straight then it's coiling up like a spring as it gets off the coast here. That's going to increase the winds and the snowfall rates as well. But if we take a look at the radar, you saw the capital there. They're down about a half mile visibility. And just to the north of there, they're down to a quarter mile. Here is the radar right now. And this is this area of heavier snow that is set up right across this region here from just north of D.C. Philadelphia really snowing there. I'll tell you what, Philly's going to have some interesting snowfall totals before this storm is all over. There is that first heavy band in there that is going to work its way up just south of the city here. But this area in here is snowing probably at a, a half an inch to an inch an hour. And Nick, this is all coming together. This is a classic setup here. We've got the jet stream in here and the cold air. And what we end up getting is this low pressure system that begins to intensify on the coast. It's in a good location compared to the upper low that's back here. This is a setup for really strong intensification along the coastal area. And then it's going to be bringing in a little bit of Atlantic moisture as it moves up along the eastern seaboard. That increases the snowfall rates. Unfortunately, the winds are going to come up there as well. And I'll tell you what, you take a look at New York City, yeah, we are talking 8 to 12 inches of snow. Here's the area I'm really concerned about. Because of the combination of snow and the winds that could really be brisk. Yeah, the island there, I think the LIE tonight, travel's going to be rough. That could become a parking lot because, again, you bring those winds up gusting over 30 miles an hour. You bring the snowfall rates in a half inch to an inch an hour. And the temperatures, by the way, are dropping through the whole evening. So that combination is going to cause very, very low visibilities. Snow's going to pile up quickly. Roads are going to become really, really snow covered fast. And, and even treated roads might be in trouble because of cold temperatures. Cold temperatures and snowfall rate, it'll be tough to keep up with that. So this is one of these situations where it's going to last here for a while. But I'll tell you what, here's the deal. Snow, we're taking a look at New York now. The snow really <laughs> ramping up through the afternoon here. And then tonight, that snow and wind combination takes place. This is going to be the roughest time frame here, probably from about 6 p.m. right in through about 4 a.m. Tomorrow, the system is moving off the coast already. So other than Boston in the morning, New York, Philly, Washington should be improving. The snow will be gone, but it's going to be cold cold and still windy. Oh yeah, so so hunker down. You, you see the hours to That's it. just get home. Absolutely. All right, thanks so much, Tom. Yep. Back to you, Jen. All right, Mike and Tom with some great information. Well, coming up on the Weather Channel, our team is out in full force covering winter storm Janice. We have Jim Cantori, our newest hire, Kate Parker, and the nation's capital, Stephanie Abrams in New York City, Janelle Klein in Long Island, and our Mike Seidel will have reports from us from Boston. And if you're away from your television, you can always get our team coverage online and on your mobile device. We'll be right back. But I think you get the idea. We are everywhere where the snow's coming down. Here's a live look at Washington, D.C. Stay safe.